Medvedev. NATO peacekeeping troops in Ukraine will be legitimate targets. Dmitry Medvedev, the deputy chairman of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, said the so-called NATO peacekeepers will become a legitimate target for the Russian army if they threaten Russia while on the front line of contact in Ukraine and will be destroyed. Posting on his Telegram channel, he warned, in Europe, there is a new crazy idea of sending some peacekeepers to Ukraine under the auspices of NATO. How about that? Alliance countries continue to ply the Kyiv regime with weapons, tanks and other military equipment as best they can. Earlier, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said in a radio interview that the bloc was discussing some kind of peacekeeping force for Ukraine, perhaps under a NATO aegis. The Kremlin responded by calling the idea extremely dangerous. Medvedev said that the US-led bloc continues to stuff the Kiev regime with weapons, tanks and other military equipment, so it's hard to imagine they want peace. Their true intentions are clear, to establish a peace advantageous to them from a position of strength on the contact line to introduce their peacekeeping troops into Ukraine with machine guns and tanks in some blue helmets with yellow stars, wrote Medvedev. It is clear that the so-called NATO peacekeepers are just going to enter the conflict on the side of our enemies, he added. It's also obvious that such peacekeepers are as direct enemies, wolves in sheep's clothing. They will be a legitimate target for our armed forces if they are placed on the front line without Russia's consent, with weapons in their hands and directly threatening us. And these peacemakers must be ruthlessly destroyed. They are soldiers of the enemy. They are combatants. The only thing that remains to be clarified, Medvedev concluded, is whether Europe is ready for a long line of coffins coming back from Ukraine.